welcome back to mk10 youtube channel where today we are going to be uh discussing my top 10 top 5 worst cod maps obviously this is a personal list it's not a list of saying like what the internet thinks the top 5 worst li um cod maps because there'll be quite a, quite a lot of um different maps on here like the ones that the internet don't like i actually do enjoy so i thought instead i actually do my top five worst maps the ones i don't really like but before we get into it please hit that sub button leave a comment down below and smash that like button and down in the description there is links to my discord and also to my twitch channel where i play all sorts of different games a variety of games it's twitch.tv slash mk10 gamer and also down below there's links to there's swift grip red dragon and killer jerky the, click the links to support the channel so that i can make more content for you as well and make it more coherent and more more consistent sorry not coherent more consistent and if this if this video gets just ten likes, I'll do my top five favorite maps. And then if it gets even more, I'll do, I'll continue the series on. You know, like do it's game specific videos like my favorite COD four maps or my favorite Black Ops maps. But with that said, let's get into it. The very first map I'm going to talk about is Flooded from COD Ghost. It's it's just the water, the water aspects of this map. Like, it's not that that fast as a flowing map, and then you slow it down even more with the water in the in the in the car park, and then you have the sections where you think you can run through quickly but then you go underwater and if you're not fast enough you're dying and obviously in some game modes that like, takes a kill off your team it's it's not that good on the map and plus as well with cog ghost being a very com campy multiplayer unless you're playing like gun game or free for all it's a very campy game but there's areas on the map where people do they do camp say like, for example like where the water is in the center of the map people either hide on the bridge at the back or up at the top is a little there's literally a little section where you can hide out have a sack come up and you have a dog out uh, either either a dog or a spot member it personally if they just get rid of the water or just lower the water down a bit more it'll make the move it'll still be flooded it will still be a flooded map. It will just make the movement a lot more faster through the map. Because it's really slow to move from one side to the other side of the map. Compared to, like, it's slower to move from one side of the map on this. And, and flooded than it is on Stonehaven. And obviously Stonehaven is like twice, maybe three times bigger than this map. Obviously, everyone knows Cod Ghost is renowned for... Uh, bad um, bad map design two big map designs but i think personally that's a criticism you can have for most cods from the cod ghost era then the, and the next uh the next map we're going to go on to after that as well that's me it's this map was so forgettable for me like even now making this list i forgot when the name <laughs> But personally for me this map it it wasn't even like it was like a a pre-order map. Obviously if you got a certain edition of the map, it's uh it wasn't it wasn't the best. It's it's like every now and again it will just shake, the map will just shake and like if, if for example for me, if like you want you spend most of your time sniping or down the sights, it was a fuck up your shot. And it wasn't like it was a consistent time between shakes. It was inconsistent. The map was way too small. The only gun the only game mode that is fun on this map is infected. But that's only because you have a certain you only have like 
a, a one area where everyone hides. Like, just other ones where you can get away with it. But apart from that, apart from that game mode, it's not fun at all. There's too campy. There's too many areas where people can hide, literally, literally hide behind a wall and stay there for the whole map. It's it's not that it's not that good of a map. It it should really be improved. It should be. It's a good concept. To be fair, obviously, we've got goals where every now and again the map will change. It's going depending on a circumstance or if you get a chem strike. But this one, all it is, the the building falls over a bit more, and when it falls over, you sh it, it completely shakes the map, which you already had that gimmick in Tremor. And this map is a lot smaller than Tremor, and it's a lot worse, because it's just campy. There's three different levels where you can camp. And so what, what's the point? It was not that, that, it's not that good of a map. It's seriously not. I'm moving on to my third favorite and my third worst map is Green Band from Advanced Warfare. This map, apart from Gun Game, it can get very stale very quick. The first couple of times, it's it's fun. It's it's new. Like you, you're finding new ways to get through the map, uh, navi navigate through the map, map, sorry, nap. <laughs> but then after like the first or second time playing the map, you get on and then you quickly realize there's two spots where everyone hides. There's one above the the spawns point for, I can't remember what, what um, team it is. But on one side of the map, it's, uh, it's on top. And then on the other side, you literally hide it inside a little sniping spot. Obviously, people catch on to that, and then people are just running from the 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 right side, trying to jump over to the left side. And because they're moving so fast in advanced warfare, it's just you just jumping from you. The middle part of the map is non-existent. It's literally non-existent. So you, you, oh, the only time you touch the middle of the map is when you jump in to go to the other side of the map to do the, and it's just honestly not that well designed. It could be slightly bigger. If it was slightly bigger, then it would be more fun because obviously the middle part would be used a lot more, and then obviously as well with it being used a lot more, then you wouldn't have been campy spots. It's still, that doesn't mean, it's still plagued by how much COD Ghost is by camping. But with that, like I said, it could be designed a lot better. But moving on to um, the second place, and it's going to be Superstore from Modern Warfare in 2019. And this is, my complaint is, it's too big. It's too big. And I know I've said in the past that I love Stonehaven and that that's a big map, but it's a big open map. Like you can be at one end of the map and snipe to the other side. There's two, maybe three spots where you can snipe to one side to the other side of the map. But because the majority of the map is inside, the inside the store obviously, it's you spend most of the time running around. And because you're running around the other team's running around, and you can spend, you can basically go round and round in circles. That's how, that's how bad I, I believe it is. Like, you're just running around in circles. And you're trying to get, you're trying to catch up to the other, the other team, and then they're trying to catch up to you, and it's basically like just cue the Benny Hill music because you just basically running around in circles. Even I was saying Benny Hill music, the Scooby Doo music. It's, it's that's what it feels like sometimes with some of the maps. Honestly, that's what it feels like, and it sh it shouldn't do because it had all the it had all the things for it. Had everything made for it to be a good map. It was just too big inside where you're running around each other, and then also as well, 
it's it feels squished where it's like very narrow but long which is you would think is made perfect for snipers but it's not i would the reason why i'm talking about snipers a lot because i that's what i may majority play with i no, majority play as a sniper so that that's why i'm i'm commenting as like a, a sniper play yeah obviously you can get a quick scoping but then like you have the same problem as chasing after the team and just going around around in circles before we get into my uh, my top worst map, please hit that like button, subscribe, and leave a comment down below what video would you like me to do next. I'm I'm working currently on some F1 videos and also might be bringing another Let's Play to the channel. Think of doing uh, Wolf Among Us or maybe a Saints Row Let's Play, but I'll think on it and obviously leave your comments down below but as i said before we get into my top one i did do a poll on twitter of what they uh what they thought was the worst map out of the out of the four that i, um, I found on the internet that is most consistently comes up as the worst map and it turns out that they voted for downturn for modern warfare 3 personally i have not played this map that much because that was the era when I was just doing campaigns. I was just playing campaigns over and over again. So I didn't really play multiplayer. And if you want to get in into involved with any of my other polls on Twitter, the links down down below. Any link, if if you can't find the link, to search MK10 Gamer slash TTV. Because if you just search MK10 Gamer, you go to another account which is not me. Someone made a fake account, and I'm still trying to get fucking started. For my top worst map, it's Hill. And if you've been around my channel, you would know Hill is one of my hated maps. Obviously, this is from Modern Warfare 19. It's a very small map. It's made for only, like, 2v2. But obviously, every now and again, they did make a, a map for um, Gun Game, which, yeah, I did enjoy. For like the first or second time, but then after that, it was just a chore playing that map. Like King or um, Spitball was a miles better maps, miles better compared to Hill. All it is is literally like you run up the hill, try and find someone else, or you run around the hill. It's very, very poorly designed. And obviously, if you're not paying attention, you can fall off the map. And I've seen quite a lot of people fall off that map. I am not going to lie to you. It's ridiculous how many people I've seen fall off that map. But that is my top five worst COD maps. As I said, if this video gets 10 likes, I'll do my top 10. I might even do my top 10 favorite COD maps. And if this video gets more traction, then I'll probably do game specific video um, videos like cod 4 like i said or maybe black ops or modern warfare 19 or i might do my favorite game modes from all the cods but that is being that is being nk10 gamer i'll see you all down at the range all the links are down in the description and i'll see you all again <laughs>